I am a maker. When I was a kid, I told my dad I wanted to make a robot. He didn't really know what I meant. And honestly, back then, I didn't know what I meant either. But that didn't stop me from trying to figure it out. When I told my friends, and I told my aunts and uncles and grandparents, they laughed and told me I just couldn't make a robot. If you are a maker, then you undoubtedly know the feeling that no one can understand what it is you're trying to do, but somehow you just know it's going to work. I made a freaking robot. It's not going to tell me jokes or crack secret Death Star locks, but it is going to do my work for me. A few of my friends asked me why I would build one when I could just go out and buy one. They don't understand. It's not the destination. It's the journey. In making, I understand every intricate part and why it's there. I can diagnose problems as they make themselves known. I can make it exactly how I want it. And the bottom line, no one else has one like mine. That will get us up closer to the business end of the tool so that there isn't much travel, you know, really only, you only need like an inch or two of travel when it comes down to that. So that's what I'll do is I'll take up that remaining eight to 10 inches with that. In making, I don't seek perfection. I seek knowledge. I celebrate mistakes. I refer more to the stack of screw ups than I do to the pile of successes. Once I've figured out how to make something just like I want it, I move on to the next project where again, I have the familiarity of the unknown. This is the first project my robot has made. They are the plaques for the guys in the YouTube Garage Gang who visited Kansas City over the summer. These are the guys who helped me learn how to restore my car. Instead of laughing at an amateur who didn't know what he was doing, instead of telling me I'd never drive the car again, they went to work making videos and critiquing my work to help me understand all the operations I needed to do to make my restoration happen. This was the first group of people I had ever met who understood what was in my head and the need I had to make things. It's only fitting that they should receive the first run of objects my robot has produced. None of these plaques is perfect. In fact, just the opposite. All of them have imperfections, and lots of them. These imperfections have served as my learning tools as I have made adjustments to my robot, and I hope they serve as a reminder to everyone who looks at them that the answer is there. It will take work to get there, but it's there. When I sit back and look at projects like this, I ask myself, why do I make things? I finally figured it out. I want people to understand who I am. I want people to understand the ideas in my head and what trips my trigger. I want people to understand they can do things they don't think are possible. And the only way I can do that is to create, to make. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see future Greg's Garage videos in your YouTube feed, Click the subscribe button 